everybody and welcome to the prolonged engagement show this is episode 47 my name is kyle and i'm sarah and as always you can find us at the prolonged there you can find links to absolutely everything that we do including facebook and youtube and itunes so as elfie is licking your face clean what were you going to talk about? I don't want her looking inside my mouth. Stop! Help me! No. Fuck! Help me! No. I am under attack! I By literally cannot talk because... 10 pound miniature dachshund. Shut up. She is vicious. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Um, I, uh, we were going to talk about some theme park news like we always do. <laughs> Uh, um so universal announced that it seriously take her she presses buttons on there you pissed um universal announced that uh disaster which is already closed disaster is gone um so uh they were closing the disaster they're also closing the beetlejuice show which i think is high time not that I don't like be I I love Beetlejuice. I don't I hated where the show went. Um and they're building what is called the Fast sorry, Fast and Furious. It's either a ride or a show. Mhm. Which this is coming in uh the wake of Disney which announced that they're closing um their show. Their car stunt show can't remember the name of it um i don't know ride camera action or something, something like that. that um but it's the one that it was originally just vehicles but then they um changed, they changed it. it to they put the cars characters in there yep so lightning queen and such um but what they're doing is they haven't announced yet if it's a ride or a show but they're putting in a Fast and Furious something. Okay. And I'm upset. Okay. I liked Disaster. I didn't. It was, it's high time. See, I but I really liked um, Earthquake. Okay. But the, what they did with Disaster was they just took, they just took Earthquake and they... And got rid of Earthquake. They got rid of the name pretty much. They added that, you know, where, oh, well, you're going to be inside of a movie now. You know, and they had um, Christopher Walken go, Mother Nature. Um, but, you know, other than that, it was the same damn ride. It didn't it, change it, at all. It, it, not much. No, it didn't change at all. Yeah. The ride itself didn't change. They only changed the beginning of it. Yeah. The Which, ride itself was exactly the same. Yep. Except they told you to scream at certain parts and things like that. And wave your hands. And, and wave your hands. And then as you were like riding that. back in there, it's You said, got to watch the video. Yeah, you got to watch the video of people freaking out. Yeah. So. Which, it was cute. It was fine. And it was, a, a, but it was a, an original Disney ride. Or not Disney, fuck me. Universal ride. Mm-hmm. Now there aren't any of those left. Right. None. So. No. Terminator. Huh? Terminator. Oh, well, yeah. I guess you could say that. Terminator and E.T. Yes. Are the last two. Um, MIB was there. No. Yeah, it was. Not originally. Uh-huh. Not in 1990 when it opened. Okay. Well, whatever. Originally, none of that was back there. I bet you Jaws was there. Jaws was. But there's no... Uh, Jaws was it there in 1990. It might have just been empty there. Yeah, it was. Where MIB is. Yeah. If I'm I remember... I'm sure the Back to the Future was there. Back to the Future was there. Yeah. But now that's Simpsons. Mm-hmm. They got rid of Jaws. Mm-hmm. Which technically didn't open until 1996. But there was a version of the Jaws ride. 
originally opened in 1990. Okay. It didn't. Oh, it's stayed open less than six months due to problems with the shark. Okay. Um. Or something like that. It didn't stay open very long because they had too many technical difficulties with the shark. Um. But King Kong mm-hmm. was originally there. Which is now mummy. Uh, Ghostbusters. Which is Twister. Which they just need to get rid of. Please. They need yeah. They Please. needed to get Twister ten years Twister ago. Twister should have gone before disaster. I don't um, even know what they would put there though. So they could they could bring back Ghostbusters. <laughs> well they could. That's popular again. Mm-hmm. It never um, stopped being popular. Yeah. I don't know why they got rid of it. Twister was only popular for about two years. Yep. And um, that's about it. But yeah. the, the the ride itself really, really sucks. Yeah. Because you just stand there and watch a little a little uh, funnel cloud that's about two feet in diet. Like, yeah, it's nothing. You know, two feet wide and you know five feet tall you're like oh my god it's gonna kill us all mm. cow goes mm, crap mm. like that so yeah it's cute but that's it it's good to get out of the heat <laughs> and it yeah. breaks every single day it breaks okay they would every day i worked at universal they went down all right and so like honestly People who were sent over to rescue at Twister were like, please just send me home. Just send me home. I don't know what the, the, I'm the, um, with Jaws though, I was, that's Jaws, the only, I was, that's like, the only one I'm upset about. No, I was not upset about that. I was upset because I, I didn't want Jaws to go, but then when they replaced it with Harry Potter, I was like, it's okay. I'll be okay. It's okay. The, um. What I'm surprised because about is that they got most this. Most of the ones that I'm just, you know, yeah, uh, you know, I liked it, but it they they made it they made it up to me mm-hmm. with with Harry Potter yeah. in there. Um, the one that I'm actually kind of surprised about mm. is that because remember they just put in a new show for Beetlejuice, mm-hmm. and now they're getting rid of it. Mm-hmm. They've been changing up Beetlejuice shit. like every couple years. I know. You know, so. And the latest one is my least favorite. It was, I don't know. It used to be okay. It used to be really good. I never thought it was fantastic, but. Which one uh, are you talking about? Which rendition are you talking about? I don't remember. Because the rendition I liked was when it had, uh, let's get started. Yeah. It was a long time mm-hmm. ago. Like probably eight or nine years ago. Yep. That was my favorite rendition of that show. Well, that's when they had them um, to where they had the they came out as their as the regular monsters, mm-hmm. and then they went behind this spray the smoke screen, the smoke screen, and then they changed into the like the rock monsters. Yeah, um, and they don't do that anymore. No, they cut that they, completely like, out, and I was so they just upset. come out as rock monsters, and it's like, well, I don't understand what what is Beetlejuice even here for then? Yeah. Um, because before it was like Beetlejuice was creating this new, um, you know, oh, I'm bringing all the, all the monsters back, but guess what? I'm going to change them into rock monsters. Mm -hmm. Ah, Beetlejuice, you know, I can do anything, but yeah, it became why, why is Beetlejuice here? If you're just going to bring them out and then they introduced two new characters. What? The Cleopatra one. And the daughter of the Phantom of the Opera. Oh, that's right, yeah. And I disliked both those characters. Yeah, they didn't used to have them. Do they have do they have Hip and Hop in the new one? Hip and Hop are gone. Okay, so they'd switch those out for the new And they added six new backup dancers. Yeah. Which didn't that stage is not big enough for no. any of that. Um Yeah, the last time we saw it was probably a year ago or mm-hmm. so. God, it was bad. Like it was hard to watch. And but the uh, the hip hip and hop were uh, were pretty cool. I liked I liked them because they yeah. they um Beetlejuice wasn't really a singing part, but when you had hip and hop there, it didn't really matter. No. 
Beetlejuice is still part of the show at that point. Mm-hmm. Beetlejuice. Uh, Whereas now he's like not at all. Mm-hmm. It's like why why even have Beetlejuice there? But and then I'm sitting there going, it's called Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review, but Beetlejuice is like not even part of the show yeah. anymore. So, like I want them to keep Beetlejuice in the park. Why? Uh huh. Why? He's still my favorite. Well, too bad. But like. Uh, Because I liked the when it was let's get it started and I liked the show before that when it was on the steps of the New York Park. Mm -hmm. That was my absolute favorite rendition. Yeah. I never saw that one. Oh, you never saw that one? No. Mm -hmm. Uh, That was with the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Well, I never saw. Oh, well. um, So. I never saw Ghostbusters either. So. So what happened? What happened is um, the Ghostbusters would come out being like, "We have a bunch of whatever energy." I think my here. first time to Universal was right before King Kong closed. Yeah, I feel so. sorry for you because King Kong was awesome. I rode King Kong. I know, but I'm saying it was right before it closed, so it closed like shortly thereafter. Yeah, I think like the following year that I had gone, it was gone. It was gone. So, and they were adding Mummy. Mm-hmm. Um. No, with which I was not happy about the first time that I went on Mummy. Yeah, you told me. I think I waited, waited. I think I waited like two, two and a half hours or something like yeah. that to ride it. And then when I got on it, and I was like, "This was not worth two and a half hours." But I mean, if it's like twenty minutes, I'm getting on that thing because oh, it's yeah. really good for when you don't have to wait all that long. Yeah. But I am not waiting no two and a half hours for it. Yeah, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I wouldn't even wait two and a half hours for um, Gringotts. No, definitely not. But I'm not in the I'm not in the phase where waiting for a ride is is worth is my time. Needed. So um, no ride is worth two and a half hours no. to me. Um. So the original with Beetlejuice and um the Ghostbusters was fantastic mm-hmm. because Beetle Beetlejuice was the star of the show. Yeah. And what he did is he possessed. The four Ghostbusters and had them dance to different songs. Because he's necromancy too. I mean that's mm-hmm. that's what Beetlejuice he, is all he's about. He's necromancy, he's um he's supposed to be crude. Mm-hmm. Which they cut. Yeah. I was livid when they cut his uh they basically cut Beetlejuice down to like a fraction of what he really was. Mm-hmm. Cause he's supposed to be crude, he's not supposed to uh be politically correct. The the whole thing is that he, he like now he just comes on stage. He goes, "Hi, I'm Bill Juice," and then walks off stage. Basically, it's like, well, okay, this thing is named after you. So what, what are you what even are you doing? doing here? Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, but um, God, because like even at the beginning of the one with uh, let's get it started, mm-hmm. uh, to get Beetlejuice out, like the original show was so. Uh, audience geared, and the yeah, audience had, had to do a to, lot. The audience had to say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Through, Beetlejuice three times. Uh, Beetlejuice would out, and then interact. When he came out, then he was, oh, I'm bringing all these monsters back to life, and blah blah. blah. And, but he would interact with the guest, mm. um, and it was hilarious because there was a, another version of it before that where he wasn't in the um. Where he wasn't in the sarcophagus. Okay. And so he would just come out before the show. Mm-hmm. And so he would actually just be beat in character, uh, joking around with guests and such. Right. And so there was one time uh, that I remember it because I was little. Uh, there was a woman with a very low cut shirt. Mm-hmm. With very, sorry, large boobs. Mm-hmm. And he went, oh, woo. Mm. <laughs> And I, and I sat there and I was like, holy shit. Well, that's. But that's that, Beetlejuice. That's Beetlejuice. I don't have any problem with that at all. I didn't have a problem with it. I just thought it was hilarious how much the character he was like. Yeah. And like they cut that. So they need to just get rid of it. And people don't understand who Beetlejuice is anymore. They will so. soon because they are making a second one. Mm-hmm. Well, and Tim Burton's we'll direct, or directing it again. Uh. He did good on the first time. No. He did good on the first time. Um, I guess the new uh, 
And Michael Keaton is playing Beetlejuice. Yeah, they'll probably change um, the kid from Winona Ryder to Helena Bonham Carter. No, so. uh, Winona Ryder is now an adult with her uh, child. Helena Bonham Carter is apparently playing... God, I read it. I can't remember if she I was... I know, she's playing something. She's in the movie. Fucking Johnny Depp will be in it too. No, he's not. Yeah, right. He's not. If it weren't for if it weren't for everyone being like if everyone wasn't wouldn't have been pissed off if um then Tim Burton would have said like Johnny can you please be Beetlejuice for us and Johnny would have been like oh this is great because Tim you suck my dick every time that we do a do a movie so I'm just gonna do that no the the fan base would be so angry if they did not use Michael Keaton. And I, um, and as my mom told me, that was a huge deal when Michael Keaton was cast as Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. Because apparently they were like, he's not a comedy. He can't do comedy. He can't do that. Mm-hmm. And then he, everyone saw him and was like, well, he can do a hell of a lot I think more. that Michael Keaton was the Johnny Depp of his day. He was. And what I'm saying is that, um. Because he was in Batman. Yeah, he was in all Tim the Tim. Burton. He was in all the Tim Burton movies, Batman, Batman Returns, Beetlejuice. Jeez. I mean, not as bad as as Johnny Depp is no. now. He's in because Johnny Depp is literally in every single Tim Burton movie. And not just that, it, it, most of those movies aren't very good. No, they all suck. Every single one of them. Like it's just gotten worse. Except for Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows. Dark Shadows fantastic. is great. Uh. I cannot stand Tim Burton. So, how do you feel about a f- uh, Fast and Furious ride? I don't care. We've never seen any of the films. Um, seen bits and pieces of some of them, but I haven't watched them through. I'd really like to watch them, but I want to watch them for free. Yeah. What would you be expecting from a see, ride? Now, or see now, see now. The greatest thing. Upon- see, this is this is what I'm getting at. Like, why can't we have Blockbuster again? I could just go out and I could just rent all of them and then take them back, you know. Now I got to now I got to I mean I guess I could rent them on iTunes or rent them on uh Amazon. But that just pisses me off. I was asking you what do you expect from the ride or show? Nothing. I don't expect anything because I don't. I never watched any of the movies, so it's Fast and Furious. It's cars and bombs and explosions. Okay. There you go. Well, then I don't. I don't know what they're doing. So what are you asking me? What if? Okay, if it was a ride, what would you expect? Would you expect a simulator? Would you expect a roller coaster? I think it would be something like Text Track. Really? Yeah. Uh, That's what I would think. Uh, Where you're in a car, yeah. but you're going really fast. Yeah. And, you know, you could do some car maneuver things. I don't think it, you can't you can't put it as a roller coaster. How come? Because that just doesn't work. Why do you say that? Because you're not in a car. Well, you can be in a car-like item. Okay, but this isn't Verbolton. This is Fast and Furious. True. So, I'm... If if they if they're making it a ride, I would hope that they would do something like test track. How would you feel if it was a simulator? I think that would suck severely. Because there is a word that is um okay, the movies aren't called uh furious, they're called fast and furious. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, you can make furious this with a simulator. You cannot make fast with a simulator. I'm, you know, I can't. You just can't do it. That does not count, guys. So, um, because I'm really hoping that they don't do a simulator. I don't. It may want just. A it simulator. may just be a show to where they just do it like a car stunt show. Yeah, but, but how would you feel about I don't think that they're going to do that either because that hasn't been their. That hasn't been Universal's mo ever. No. To do anything like that. Because. Um, the one at Disney just closed. They closed it to b- so that then they have more room for well uh, Star Wars Land. The 
the one at the one at Disney was at um, Hollywood Studios, yes. which has already had things like stunt shows. So it matches that theme of that park. Yes. Because, you know, they had the uh, the Indiana Jones stunt show. They Which had the good. car stunt show. I never saw it. Um, you know, and things like that. So it kind of fits in there. Um, to do a stunt show at Universal just does not, it doesn't fit with anything else in there. And I don't think that it, it would bring enough people, but it wouldn't bring a lot. No, it wouldn't. Because people would want to that, go to Disney's ride a already ride. done it. Yeah. So I feel like it's like South Park saying Simpsons done that already. Yeah. But I don't think that it, I don't think that a, that a, a stunt show would work at all in that case. Yeah. That's my feeling too. I'm like a, a show will not work and I'm kind of in the feeling that it should be a roller coaster. Like even if it's just a, um, and my feeling for that is because, yes, you can go fast in a coaster. Okay. And you can put effects into a coaster and make it furious. Yeah, but I don't want it to be like Green Guts either. Oh, I didn't mean like Green Guts. I meant it like, um, is it at Knott's? I think it's at Knott's. Knott's Berry Farm. I don't remember where that's at. Okay. But they have what's the saw coaster. Okay. So they have... Sorry, am I not close enough? You're fine. Okay. So what they have is... Um, it's it's a roller coaster based upon saw. Okay. And so um, you start off and you see Jigsaw like over in the corner and he's like, let's play a game. Mm-hmm. And then you're thrown into loops and barrel rolls and... Um, and there's also effects there where things breathe fire. Um, there's actually a trap that you go under. I just and don't think that it would work with the damn theme of the movie. You don't think that would work? The theme of the movie is in cars. And it's not like everybody's in one car. It's not no. Fast and the Furious van. <laughs> I mean, where everyone's just running around like, oh, my God, you know, get away from the, uh, the explosions in this big-ass van. Like, no, no, the cars are hot. The cars are, you know, they're, you know, they're muscle cars, they're, um, they're, uh, sports cars, um, you know, it's, it's all about cars and sex, and the, I just don't think that a roller coaster would, 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 would get there. True. I think that if they were making a ride, it should be something like Test Track. Yeah, I think you're right, Test Track may, or that Test Track-ish type ride maybe you would be in best. a car where at most six people are in it yep you know seriously like that seems like their best bet at that point you can move really fast because mm-hmm. it's a smaller vehicle you can do different maneuvers with it because yeah. you're in a small vehicle you know yep my problem with that though you're thinking test track is yeah. in like Oh, well, you we're going to go through the damn tests. And no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking You're talking, talking like about when they're outside. When they're outside and also the um the last part before you go outside where they do the maneuver tests. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm not talking about the analog brake system test <laughs> and the and the fucking um heat and corrosion test i'm talking about the You're maneuver talking about test. when they were like on the when they go road when and... they go through the the windy road and they have to speed up and go through the windy so road you're talking and... about something closer to spider-man no i'm not thinking about i want something that's want fast something... yes that's why i'm saying test track yeah i don't want it to be and you i don't, don't want, want simulators it a, i don't want want you to see fucking you know with stupid 3d glasses and crap like yeah. that yeah I want it to be something that was that's built, you know. Give yeah. me something that is that is finite, that's there in front of me, that I'm not sitting there like. Give me something that's believable because guess what? Fast and Furious is shot in you know it's it's live action. Yes. So I want a I want a ride that's going to be live action. Yes. I don't want crap. Because I want a CG crap. That's what I'm worried we're going to get. Mm-hmm. And Transformers is great, but guess what? It's just more CG crap. Yeah. Okay. 
Seriously. It, 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 you're, you're sitting CG. More, more CG stuff. And I'm done with the CG. I'm done with simulators. Give you know, me something new. The, the thing that I like, the thing that I like about the mummy is that it's all there in front of you. Yes. Other than the last part, which is you know just you know darkness and just roller coaster and lights. But if they gave us something that is built like that, to where you're running through a forest, you're driving through a forest, or you know we're driving through a city. You know, driving through a city or something like that. Um, you know, no, add, sure, add some things like, oh, well, um, we're going to project sky onto the roof. Yeah. You know, something like that. You know, you can do that, but give me a building over here, a building over there. Give me a real explosion with real fire. Yeah. You know, give me something that, that tells that show that, that says, hey, this is a fast and furious ride and not some podunk little hick town piece of bullshit. Yeah. I don't want fucking, you know, Flight of Peter Pan. I want Test Track with explosions. Yeah. Anyway. No, I understand where you're coming from. I'm really uh, I'm annoyed with all the simulation. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that's all they've given us. Because mm. they so, promised like, Green Gods to be a roller coaster. And it's not. I mean, now a lot of the a lot of the stuff that they have in Green Gods is they do have a lot of ish okay but they do have a lot of that stuff where they built a lot yes, in there so if they give us stuff like that would would, would uh, that would be great but yeah. i want things like you know real fire mm-hmm. and you know things that they've done in the, there's real fire in um in a mummy so i know it can be done yeah you know so that's Make all I'm and, and the other part about Fast and Furious is that you're supposed supposed to feel in danger. Yeah, I want to feel that. Yeah. So, okay. All right, guys. Well, this was episode forty-seven of the Prolonged Engagement Show. My name is Kyle, and I'm Sarah. And you can always find us at theprolongedengagement.com. There, you can find links to everything that we do, including Facebook and iTunes and YouTube. Uh, go uh, tell uh, tell all your friends about our about our stuff. You can uh, you can link them straight to YouTube at youtube.com slash the prolonged engagement show. You get su- hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment on all of that good stuff, and uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.